Hi everyone, it's Kaylia and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul from Kay's Scented Wax or Kay's Scented Melts. This is my second haul from Kay's and I have a lot to get through today. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. You might wanna grab a snack, a drink, a whatever you need, a blanket, because it's gonna be a long one. I have, I think, nine customs to go through and I want to say two, four, six, like 12 to 14, maybe um, 15 clams. Um, so we're just going to jump into it. So as I said, this is my second order from Kay's. Whoa, dropped them. And I am in love with this vendor. Um, I have melted some of her stuff from my first order and everything performs really well. Um, no complaints there and so I'm super excited my first order I did do customs but I didn't name them and so this time I had a lot of fun naming my customs as well as like kind of putting in a certain or asking Kay to put in a certain or Carla her name is Carla to put in a certain percentage of different oils so anyways we'll get into that I have the list on my phone of everything and um, so we're just gonna get started. Hopefully this isn't too, too long, but we'll see. Okay, so first and foremost, um, I got a ton of samples in this order. And I think she sends samples based on what you order or how much you order because my first order, I didn't order as many things and I didn't get as many samples. And so I don't know if it's based on like how much you order is what kind of samples you, or how many samples you get or if it's just kind of whatever she has on hand at the moment. So I got a lot this time and we're gonna go through them. I don't have the scent notes for my samples um, just because I didn't feel like I really needed to, but you can always look up on her website if there's a specific one that sounds good to you that you wanna check out. Um, all, most of these scents are scents that you can get in clamshells or customs. There are a few scents she has that are customs only and I don't know if any of these are those or not, um, but on her master scent list it will say. So the first one that I got in samples is November Rain, and this just came in this really cute little flower. And this one smells really, if I can get it out, <laughs> smells really, really good. This is just a nice, fresh rain scent. To me, it smells exactly like rain. Like this would be perfect on a, on a rainy day, especially like a warm, rainy day when you could open up the windows and let the natural rain come in and smell this wax smell. This is good. And this is a decent sized one too. I can definitely cut this one in half and get, um, actually, probably if I really wanted to, I could quarter this and put it in all four of my open concept warmers. So that's a really nice one. The next one I got is the Perfect Autumn. And this one is in these little owl shapes. And this one smells really good. It's just a nice fall scent. I get cinnamon, I get apple, apple for sure, cinnamon. Um, I'm guessing it's like a cinnamon, clove, apple, nutmeg kind of scent, just a classic fall scent. So this one smells really, really good. Um, I probably will pick this one up in a clam the next time I get, I place an order because I could see myself really enjoying this in the fall. Okay, next we have Vanilla Butter Fudge and these three little bears. This is really cute. So this would probably be about um, one melt in my bathroom. Uh, or like maybe I could get two melts out of it in the bathroom. This is good. I don't like buttery scents. Um, but if you like buttery scents, like this is really, really tasty smelling. <laughs> like it would be something I'd want to eat. But I don't love buttery and this is very buttery. So buttery wax is not for me. I will melt it just because it's a sample and I can throw it in my bathroom and or in, even in my spare room and it'll be totally fine. So that one's yummy. This one is red lipstick. I believe red lipstick is a cherry scent. I got another sample of this in my very first case order. So now I've got two samples and I'm hoping that it'll be enough for me to chop up and use in my open concept. And yeah, this one just is a good cherry scent. It doesn't lean cough syrup to me. Not sure what else is in there, but it smells very cherry, cherry-like, and I like it a lot. So I like cherry as long as it's not cough syrup leaning. So that's red lipstick. Okay, next is Fruity Pebbles, need I say more. This smells honestly like every other Fruity Pebble scent out there. I mean, I love it. Lemon, lime, 
crunchy, tasty, milky, just really good. Very creamy and cereal-like. Definitely will be just keep throwing this in my bathroom. I love, I love Fruity Pebbles, and so this will be a great size to just, I can zip it, to get in my bathroom warmer one day. So really good. Okay, excuse my reach. Next is Jacar Noir. I've never heard of this, but it does sound like a cologne type. So, and it smells like a cologne type too. So I have smelled everything. And yeah, this is a really nice masculine cologne scent. I think it'll be really good um, in the bedroom. I usually put these masculine cologne scents in my bedroom. I don't like these in my open concept. They tend to make me a little headachey. So what I do with scents like this, because I do like the way they smell, um, I put them in the bedroom in the morning. So that way, especially in the summer when I'm in and out of there throughout the day, I can smell them, but I'm not sitting in it and I can pull it out before bed. So I'm not sleeping in that sense. So that'll be a good one for that. And I'm trying not to block the whole camera with my arm. Ooh, okay. This one is Pink Petal Tea Cake and I think this is a type. Is this a Bath and Body Works type? I think it is. I think. I could be wrong. This smells really good. And I don't like, it just came in one of these bunts. I don't like rose. I, as I think there's rose in here, I can smell it. But this is like, there's a almost a bakery scent that goes with it. Um, I, I should have looked up the scent notes for this because I really like this. I want to give this in a clam and I want to try blending it with some things. I think this could be a good blender, surprisingly, for fall. Like I feel like it could fit in really good with like a, some fall bakery. And just that hint of because it's it's a really nice hint of rose like it's it's there but not bad so like not strong and then there's like a vanilla -y scent it's really good so I think I'm, I want to pick that one up in a clam and if anything um, maybe not making a whole custom of it but just trying it out with some things and then just um, melting it on its own in my bedroom I really like that Ooh, that might even be good with like a cotton scent like a clean cotton scent okay this is Hawaiian punch and I don't know if I've, yeah, I don't know if I've expressed this too much on my channel, but I don't like pineapple. And so like anything Bora Bora, Blue Hawaiian, and apparently this, I don't even know if there's pineapple in here, but it, get, it still has that same, I'm pretty sure there is, because it's got that like sickly sweet pineapple scent. I will not melt this. I will put this in with a de-stash or... Um, I'll put it in like with a round robin or something like that, but I will not be, be melting this. And it's not because it stinks. It's just because I can't do pineapple scents. I can't do it in my wax. I love to eat pineapple. I love to drink pineapple things. I love to drink me a blue Hawaiian. I like Hawaiian punch to drink, but I cannot do that scent in my wax. So it's not that it smells bad. It just isn't my thing. And these are little strawberries. I don't want to spend too much time on the samples, but the samples are really good. Okay, these ones are little waffles. Ooh, this one's good. This is in mint chocolate chip, and this is really good. I like this a lot. Um, this is like, I, I know I've talked about my feelings with ice cream before in, in wax and how much I love it <clears throat> because I feel like you can really smell that cold scent. This is no exception. This is good. It's minty. It's vanilla ice creamy. Um, you get a little bit of chocolate, but nothing too crazy. I'm really excited about this and definitely will probably be picking this one up in a clam because I really like this and I could see it going good with like a strawberry scent or a summer scoop scent or even like, um, I know it's mint chocolate chip, but like an orange sherbet scent I think would be good with this. This is really good. And then last but not least, I have Sunday brunch and this reminds me, I got this. I want to say it was from Zape and it was like a breakfast with elves or something like that and it was like this bacony eggy mapley delicious scent this reminds me of that you get the maple and I think I did read the scent notes of this and it was like something about eggs and bacon and it reminds me of just a nice delicious breakfast it's so good and I don't know when I'm gonna melt this same with the one I got from Zabe I don't know when I'm gonna melt it but like it's so good I have to find a time for it yeah this is really good I don't know that I would mm, I might pick it up in a clam but I just don't know that I would melt it often enough so having the sample is really fun I really like that this would be good in blends like this would be good with espresso or her um, Kay's cafe latte I 
that might, mm, I might have to think about that one because that might be actually really good. And maybe like the berry topped waffles, maybe like this with berry topped waffles and espresso, that might be delicious. I might have to do that. Okay, so next we're gonna jump into my clams and you'll have to bear with me because I'm gonna try to go in order of my phone the way I have them listed because that'll just be easier for me to read the sent notes to you guys. So give me one second. I'm trying to separate my customs. I don't have a lot of room on the surface that I film on. And so I have stuff like in a box or in a little plastic tub on the floor and everything. So I think what I'm gonna do, so I guess I'll try to hold it on my lap. Oh, that's not gonna be, here. You're gonna just get a little, Maybe if I just, gosh, I don't know. Okay, anyways, I'm just gonna try to get started. So um, I know the first one I'm gonna be reaching for is called Winter Wonderland. And um, Winter Wonderland, and I just have my uh, the arrival date on the front here. So Winter Wonderland is a fruity blend of winter berry, orange, cinnamon, vanilla with hints of musk and clove. And this one smells really good. This is like a, so this is what it looks like. Her wax isn't decorated or anything. Um, it's just basic and beautiful. This is, to me, could be a really, gosh, I've got to figure out what to do with this bucket. Hold on. Okay, we're just going to put it right there. This, to me, could be a really, really good, um, like, all year round scent. To me, this is not, it doesn't scream specifically winter, but it's just clean and fresh. And let me see. So a fruity blend of winter berry, I get that. I get the winter berry and I get the hint of musk. I'm not really pulling out clove or cinnamon, but that might come out more on warm. So this one's good. That is winter berry. And next we have one called, it's another white one, called Christmas Lane. And Christmas Lane is eucalyptus, bergamot, cranberry with hints of amber, clove, and sheer woods. It says this fresh crisp scent will travel through your whole space perfect for the holidays or any time of year so i just wrote exactly what was on her scent list for each one and this one yeah this one is really good this one to me is not a year-round scent this is definitely a christmas scent a holiday scent i really get that balsam did it say balsam nope it says eucalyptus bergamot cranberry with hints of amber clove and sheer woods okay it must be the woody scent that I'm getting. This smells really, really woodsy and um, almost piney to me. I really like it. It reminds me of a Christmas tree and just like that classic Christmas smell. So that one will be really good. I'm excited about that one. Okay, so next I have this one and this is Christmas Splendor. It's this beautiful red color. And Christmas Splendor is apples, oak, balsam, fir, and pine with a hint of cinnamon and clove. An amazing year-round scent. I noticed the scent list says that about a lot of them, like that it's a year-round scent. In my opinion, these are all very specific to the holidays, but that's just my opinion. This is like, okay, <laughs> this reminds me of like a candle my mom had growing up and they're pretty easy to pop out. And it's just, it really is heavy in that cinnamon um, for this one, I don't really get cinnamon, um, okay, I guess, okay, maybe I do. I get the apples, I was going to say I don't get the apples, but I think I'm getting that apple cinnamon and then just that woodsy scent. This is really good. This is really, really warm and woodsy. This is one that's like on those cold, cold nights in December would be really, really good. Um, to me, this is a heavy scent. It's not one that you'd want to, like, I wouldn't pop this in for a Christmas party or anything like that. It's a little too heavy for that. It's more of a cozy, um, you're laying around with hot cocoa and maybe watching Christmas movies with your family kind of thing when it's snowing outside. It's really good. It's a little heavy, though, so that would be the only thing. Um, but otherwise, it's, it's good. Okay, the next one I have is Old World Christmas. Let's see if I can find it. So Old World Christmas is this green wax and this one go ahead and pop out for you old world christmas is a sweet citrus blend of fruit and florals on a base of cinnamon and clove for the perfect and nostalgic holiday fragrance and yeah 
that's exactly what this is in my opinion. This is like, for, now this one is one I would put in with company over, like having a Christmas party or something. It's just that bright Christmas scent. You get that tree, the woodsy, what did it say? Sweet citrus, you get the citrus and fruity blend. I get a little bit of the florals, but nothing too crazy. That might be like what I'm pulling out as being woodsy. Might be actually floral instead. Um, and I don't like floral, so the fact that like I like it tells me it's more of a woodsy floral. And then that cinnamon is just there in the background. This one's really good. This one would also be yummy for like a day of hanging out with um, family and maybe baking some Christmas cookies and things like that. Very bright. It's a very bright scent. So unlike that heaviness of the last one, it's a very, very bright one. Okay, so next I have Holiday Drive. And if I am not mistaken, let me find it really quick. Hold on. If I'm not mistaken, this one was a blend created by another YouTuber on wax, another wax YouTuber, but I can't remember who it was, but I'm pretty sure it was created by someone that posts videos on YouTube. Um, this one is a blend of espresso, Fraser fur, and bake shop. This is a house blend, and this one, honestly, I want, I think I'm going to get this in K's Cuts. I didn't know how I'd feel about this one with the Fraser fur and the espresso and like I just didn't know but this is really really good I like this a lot this is another one kind of similar to the old world Christmas that's just bright and just for me really reminds me of Christmas time and like honestly yeah kind of like a holiday drive espresso Fraser fur and bake shop yeah like you're driving around looking at Christmas lights and you have your hot cocoa and maybe like your um, home-baked goodies and you're just enjoying your I guess maybe not hot cocoa but espresso and enjoying your family that that's really good this one's really really good I like that a lot um, I, I forgot to mention I got a lot of fall and Christmas scents in this because I like to give them time to cure so by the time that that halt the holidays roll around these will be more than ready and so yeah I forgot to mention that this is mostly fall and Christmas sorry I should have mentioned that right off the bat okay Next, I have balsam and cedar. Balsam and cedar is a crisp blend of balsam, pine, aromatic, cedar leaf, and juniper berries deliver a fresh forest scent. The, uh, this Yankee dupe has true-to-life green cedar scent and is one of our favorites. So this one is exactly what it sounds like, um, and I knew it would be. Yeah, so if you like balsam and cedar candles from pretty much anywhere, this is this is it right here. It's really, really good. Um, yeah, super good, super Christmas tree-y. This one is like one that I could see myself putting in when we're putting up the Christmas tree or other Christmas decor. So I really, really like this one. Not much to say about it because it just is what it is and it's really good. Okay, next is Sugared Spruce. So Sugared Spruce says, this popular Christmas and holiday scent gives a pleasant woody aroma year round, a perfect blend of blue spruce, earthen moss, warm cedar, and balsam wood rounded out with a base of vanilla, sugar, and caramel. This one's really, really good. I kind of think this would be really good to blend with the balsam cedar and maybe like some kind of orange, like that she has an orange almond scone oil that I really like might be good or just something bright and citrusy. Um, both of these, so balsam cedar and sugared spruce, have that, those heavy tree smells. But then this one brings in that vanilla bakery kind of scent, which I really enjoy. And I think they balance each other out really well. So I like that a lot. This is actually one of my favorites out of all the clams because it was kind of unexpected. I didn't think I would love it as much as I do. So that one's really good. Okay, next we have... Crystal Lake, and I believe this was also created by a YouTuber. It might even be the same one. No, I think it's a different one, but it, I think it was also created by a YouTuber. So Crystal Lake is midnight waters mixed with pine cones on a smoky base of autumn flannel, and it is a house blend, and this is a very fresh fall scent. So it just has, it comes in a blue clam. Um, it's very fresh, fall, outdoorsy woodsy 
a really, really nice one. I'm excited to do that. That to me reminds me of like late September when fall is really coming around the corner. Yeah, that one's good. Next is Cabin in the Woods. And this is the only one I got with her new labels, but if you, that is just beautiful. And I really like how it has this. <coughs> Sorry about that. My dog's, uh, the FedEx truck drove by. Cannot guarantee it won't happen again. <laughs> Okay, so as I was saying, Cabin in the Woods, my only one that I got, they're transitioning to new labels and just com in comparison, um, this was the old one and then this, I really like their new label. I think that the new one's really fun and it just brings a little bit, because the wax isn't decorated or anything, I think it just brings a little bit of um, spunk, I guess you could say, onto the wax. So Cabin in the Woods is White Pumpkin Amber Fireside. I'm going to read you what it said online because it... I feel like it's a little bit different no kind of so it says um a gorgeous fall blend a gorgeous fall blend of white pumpkin cinnamon clove coconut and amber mixed with the scent of sitting by a cozy fire so this one to me i don't know why scents like this are like nostalgic to me it's just in this gray because i have no memories of being in a cabin in the woods or anything but there's something about any time there's a cabin in the woods scent no matter if it's these scent notes or something different I have like memories that come with it and I'm not really sure where they're coming from but nonetheless it smells really good and it just makes me really happy so that'll be a great one for fall and I might visit the FedEx truck again ah. my dogs really don't like mail trucks hopefully I don't have to stop this again okay the next one is Haunted House Season. Again, I think this is another one created by a YouTuber. And this one is a yummy blend of apple and clove butter, smoky uh, flakes, leaves, and pumpkin waffles. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and so this one, yeah, this is really good. It has some similar scents to the Cabin in the Woods. I just think it's that pumpkin scent that feels kind of similar. This is perfect for haunted house season um, and I really like this wax this is like a really pretty orange I like this a lot so this one's really good I like that for fall that's like classic fall to me so I really like that one next clam is rustic fall and this is in this really pretty maroon one and this one does have the scent notes so it's interesting some do some don't online it said Cranberry, black currant, cedar with cinnamon, nutme nutmeg, clove, caramel, and vanilla. This is a crisp cranberry mixed with a yummy, buttery nutmeg and clove. A great holiday or any day scent. House blend. So this one is another. Reminds me of my, my mom's house in the fall. Um, I think these are scents my mom really likes as well. Just that cranberry mixed with the very spicy spice scent so really good cannot wait to melt that one that probably I'll need another clam of because I do like that scent so much and it is so warm and nostalgic for me next is I'm gonna get into just some she had some new summer scents that I grabbed three of them and then she had this one which I wanted to try this is berry topped waffles and berry topped waffles is golden waffles topped with a warm, sweet berry compote and a dollop compote and a dollop of whipped cream. This is a K original blend. So this one I wanted to just try on its own. I did get this in one of my customs, and this is good. Um, I've heard that on warm you really get the waffle scent. So I'm excited because on cold that doesn't really come out. But I've heard on warm it does. So this smells good. I'm excited to warm it and kind of see how that goes for me. Okay, three more clams and then we'll get into my customs. I know, I know. So this is very, this is an easy vendor to order a lot from. Okay, the next one, and this label's a little different too. I don't know if they were just toying around with something like this, but it's cute. The next one is Sand and S'mores. Our house blend screams fun times at the beach complete with cool sea air. We have combined notes of of the sea air with toasted marshmallow, graham crackers, and chocolate. And again, this is a house blend. So this one, let me see if I feel different today. Yeah, this is the only one I can't really smell. And this is unusual because everything else I've ever gotten from K's, including the samples, I've never had this problem with, but I do not smell anything. So I'm gonna try this in my bathroom first and see, and I'm gonna wait 
I, I want to let it sit for about a month um, from the arrival date, but I'm hoping on warm this livens up a little bit because I really, I guess maybe I can smell a little bit of the salty sea smell, but that's really it. I mean, I'm not really getting anything else. So we'll see how this one, I, I was a little bit sad about this one, but it could just be that it needs to get on warm and and it'll brighten and liven up. So hopefully, fingers crossed, because the two other summer scents I got are amazing. So the next one is Beach Nights. So she had her Beach Nights oil, I, I guess was new to her. And oh my gosh. So I think this is the front runner for me. Yeah, for my favorite Beach Night scent. And this is even better than the Bath and Body Works Beach Nights. This smells so good. It's this beautiful um, blue color. I am going to be getting this in a clam as well as making a custom with it. This is so, so, so good. I love this so much. Um, let me read to you about it. So it says, toasty marshmallow, sea salt breeze, and a hint of chocolate graham cracker. Uh, Bath Body Works type. So yeah, that is really good. I really like that. Can't stop smelling that one. Okay, I only get to get this thing off my leg. Okay, and the last clam I purchased was High Tide. And High Tide is lemon, orange, lemons, orange, sea salt, and jasmine top notes with a base of cedar, violet, and powder. This is really, really yummy. Um, I don't, oh, yeah, I don't know. I get the powdery scent. What else did it say? Um, lemons, orange, sea salt, and jasmine. Yep, I get that, that fruity, citrusy top note. I get a little bit of that jasmine, but not too much. And then the cedar violet power, powder. Definitely have the powdery scent. I have a feeling the cedar is gonna come out and warm. This is really good. I like this a lot. So um, definitely will be, I might even, this is strong. I may try this soon in my bathroom because that is like what I love in my bathroom and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move these and then, whoa, yikes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the customs. And like I said, I believe I have nine customs. Um, and I'll try to go through them quickly, but I did spend a lot of time on them, so I wanna share them with you guys. Um, some of them are winners, some of them I could perfect. It's, um, some of them I should've just left and let Kay use her discretion with the amount of each wax uh, fragrance, but we'll go through that. Okay, so the first custom I have is called Boa Vista. And this one, I went ahead and did because I was trying to replicate the way I feel the happy fall feelings I get when I go to Boa Vista Orchards in um, California, Apple Hill. If you live in the area, you know um, kind of what I'm talking about. It's this amazing Apple, um, Apple Hill is like an area of California where they, it's foresty. And all these apple orchards and little shops open up in the fall and you can go, there's this one road you can travel down from one to the next to the next. They have like um, handmade stuff. They've got apples, obviously, handmade apple treats, apple jellies, apple pies, apple butters, um, different like fruit stands. It's just really fun. You can get hot chocolate, you can get coffee, you can go into some of them and sit down. And I was trying to replicate this specific one that I've been going to since I was a kid with my parents and then have spent a lot of time, like have gone to quite a few times with my husband. So this one is Fallen Leaves, Apple Cider Donut and Funnel Cake. I did 40% Fallen Leaves, 40% Apple Cider Donut and 20% Funnel Cake because the Fallen Leaves and the Apple Cider Donut I knew would do the trick. And then that Funnel Cake I figured would add that extra sweetness. And this one is really good and it did exactly what I was hoping it would do. This is so nostalgic for me, and I cannot wait to melt this one in the fall. Um, you get that fall, definitely the fallen leaves and apple cider donut first, and then you get the little sweetness and like almost fried from that funnel cake. It's so good. So that was my first custom, Boa Vista. Love it. Okay, the next one I did, and by the way, my customs, because I, I did have a lot of Christmas and fall themed clams, my customs are kind of, there's a, uh, there's a pretty good mix, but I've got some fall, some Christmas, some summer. So and the next one is called Christmas with the Fam. And that is, let me find it. Yeah, that is this one. And with this one, I was going for something that would remind me of Christmas morning with my family. And in this one, I put 40% Very Merry Cranberry, 
40% pine cones and 20% cinnamon roll. And this one also is exactly how I was hoping. A hint of cinnamon roll, a hint of, uh, I guess a lot of that very merry cranberry, and then just like this hint of pine cones reminded me so much of when we wake up Christmas morning and we come out and we turn on our Christmas music and we get the coffee started. I didn't put coffee in here, but we get the coffee started. We get some kind of yummy breakfast in the oven before we open gifts and sit together as a family. Um, and I'm thinking when I think family, really what I'm thinking of is my parents and my brother. So like my immediate family and of course now my husband as well. But I was really thinking about growing up and what that felt like. And this is so... I love this for me. <laughs> this one is amazing and definitely will be melting that. We aren't usually home to melt on Christmas morning, but every day around then definitely will be doing that because that one is really good and very nostalgic for me. Both of these bring back a lot of scent memories and just feel special to me. Okay, the next one, I guess this one is along the same lines of having those scent memories and feeling super special. Um, the next one is called Camping Nights. And let me grab it. So Camping Nights is I did 40% Bonfire Bliss, 30% Toasted Marshmallow, and 30% Sugar Waffle Cone. And with this one, the only thing I would change if I were to do it again to kind of perfect it is I think I wouldn't put percentages and I would let um, Carla do her thing with it because I think I put too much Bonfire Bliss in there. And don't get me wrong, that smells good. I love Bonfire Bliss, so thank goodness like that I like that scent and I think I needed a little more toasty marshmallow and maybe like the sugar waffle cone I just put in there for added sweetness I didn't really want to put in a chocolatey scent or a graham crackery scent but that sugar waffle cone kind of fell between that graham cracker sugary scent so that's fine in there I think I just needed to do less bonfire bliss and more toasted marshmallow or even maybe less bonfire bliss and more sugar waffle cone um either way it smells really good and it reminds me of this was um i was thinking about when we spend time when we go camping and we spend time out by the fire laughing and talking and telling jokes and telling stories and toasting marshmallows and all of that and so it did it but i do think i could perfect it a little more and maybe next time just let Kay, uh, let carla take over and do her thing because she's amazing and she probably could have done that a little bit better than me but it's still good okay next is orange almond bliss and this one i saw somebody and i don't i wish i could remember who it was somebody else did a custom of these scents they didn't name it um and i don't know what their percentages were that they put in of each one but it's orange almond scone, zucchini bread, and almond. So I can't take credit for the scent notes being combined, but I wanted to name it. I wanted all of mine to be named. And I did pick percentages because I, um, I know how I feel about almond and I know I don't like huge amounts of it. So what I did was 50% orange almond scone because I figured that was the bakery, 30% um, zucchini bread, and 20% almond. And this one turned out perfect for me. So again, um, I give credit to whoever I saw this. I don't remember who I saw do this, but I saw it in a YouTube video. It sounded really good to me, but like I'm, I wanted all mine to be named, so I named it, and then I wanted to put in percentages because I didn't want too much of that straight almond, and you don't get it. Um, the cinnamon, I'm uh, sorry, the zucchini bread adds just a little spice, but nothing too crazy. Um, the almond adds that little bit of that, because it does kind of um, lean cherry to me, just a little bit of that cherry almond scent even though I don't think there's actually cherry in there and then that orange almond scone is the perfect bakery with that orange in there so this one's really good so again if you know who that was if you also saw that let me know in the comments below because I'm not trying to take credit for someone else's someone else's scent blend I just wanted to name it and pick, uh, pick out my own percentages because I know my nose so next I did for the love of dogs <laughs> I'm going to have to explain this one. So this one is banana nut bread, 50% banana nut bread, 30% vanilla cake pops, and 20% buttercream frosting. And this is, um, so I named this for the love of dogs because my dogs have this weird obsession with bananas. And they know 
when I'm baking banana bread or like banana muffins versus any like any other baking that I do they have this just like weird obsession with bananas and so I had to do something banana scented for them and I had to do banana bread because like I could be baking banana bread one day and I could be baking chocolate chip cookies the next day and they it's like they can smell the banana bread and they just know and they just want some. Um, I don't give them banana nut bread, but they do get banana by itself. They love it so, so much. And so I just wanted to make this nice banana bakery scent and uh, name it after my dog. So that one smells really good. The banana nut bread is delicious. And then just the uh, buttercream frosting and the vanilla cake pop just adds that bakery sweetness. So love that. Okay, the next one is um, called berries for breakfast and this is the one that I used the berry topped waffles in so this one is 50% berry topped waffles 30% strawberry white cake and 20% whipped cream and this one is really good um, again I'm hoping if if um, what I heard about the berry topped waffles is right then that waffle note is gonna come out a lot on warm and I'm really excited about that and I'm hoping it does the same thing in here because even on cold it smells amazing but I could just imagine like the berry topped waffles and that waffle scent coming out on warm would be so good. So I just thought that one was a fun one to do and definitely I'm excited to melt that one. Makes me really happy. Okay, the next one I got was blueberry swirl coffee and this one I love my coffee scents if you haven't learned that already. I am a coffee gal. I love my coffee scents in the morning. I love like blueberry bakery. And so with this one, I put in 40% uh, cafe latte, 30% blueberry cobbler, and 30% vanilla swirl. And her cafe latte is rolled oats, maple sugar, cream, and roasted coffee beans. And then it says, this is rich and strong. I love her cafe latte. I have another custom with it. It's like cafe, it's like cafe latte, sugar waffle cone, and whipped cream or something like that. It's really good too. This one is delicious. I like it because the cafe latte really comes out nicely and the blueberry is blueberry bakery. I'm not a fan of like the juicy blueberry scent. I really like blueberry bakery and that's exactly what this is. And so I'm really excited about it because I know that this is just going to make me feel really happy in the morning when I just need that coffee blend. I'm going to have this and it's just going to be so good. So I'm excited about that one. The next one is probably, aside from my like nostalgic ones that I showed you at the beginning, this one probably my favorite, my favorite other than those. And this one, first off, look at that color. That is beautiful. It's like this, almost this neon coral. Okay, I love that. And it is called Summer Lovin'. It is Sunset Shores, 50% Sunset Shores, 30% Mango Sorbet. I love Mango Sorbet and 20% coconut milk. And her Sunset Shores is customs only and it is a blend of Blood Orange, Kai, and Boom Boom. I'm pretty sure Kai is also a perfume body care scent. Oh my goodness, guys. When I tell you this is the best, like it gives me goosebumps when I smell it. This smells so good. Please get this. Make this in a custom because it is so good. I love anything Mango Sorbet. And this just has the perfect amount of the mango sorbet, but you still get that blood orange from the Sunset Shores. You get that milky, creamy coconut milk, and then a little bit of that body care from the Boom Boom and the Kai. And oh my goodness, this is so good. I love this so much. So that is that one. And then the last custom I have, this I threw in last minute because I heard someone talk about one of the oils in here. And so I just had to do it. So this one is called Twinkle Toes, and this is 40% sugar cookie crunch, 40% marshmallow fluff, and 20% tinsel and twinkle. I've never smelled tinsel and twinkle before, but I was watching a video and someone had it. I think someone got it either in a blend or in a clam, I don't remember. And they mentioned that it was really good, but it was a really strong oil. And you know, I think in her blend, she said she would have gone a little less tinsel and twinkle or something like that. So I, that's why I did only the 20% tinsel and twinkle and then the sugar cookie crunch because I don't like, I don't love sugar cookie royale. It's too, I don't know what, I don't, I just don't really love it. And then the marshmallow, so I did the sugar cookie crunch to get that sugar cookie scent without the royale, whatever that is. And then um, 
I did the marshmallow fluff because I like adding whipped cream, marshmallow fluff, things like that into blends just to sweeten it and, and I'll, um, give it a little bit of creaminess. And then the Tinsel and Twinkle is a festive fragrance of orange zest, grapefruit, cinnamon, and clove. And clove bud are followed by cedar leaf, sandalwood, and fur needles. This is just really good. And to me, I was thinking this would lean very Christmassy because Tinsel and Twinkle, the name itself just reminds me of Christmas. But I think I'm going to hold on to this for January because this reminds me of just winter. Just like that. You still want that woodsy, cozy, wintry scent. Maybe a hint of Christmas. But you don't want that full-blown like like um, Christmas with the fan scent, if that makes sense. So I'm really excited to give this one a try. And that is everything I got from Kay's. This was a huge order, and I'm really happy with the way everything turned out. And actually, today, smelling everything, I think as I've let some of this sit just a little bit, this stuff came on um, June 11th, so and today is June 22nd. Yeah, so it's been sitting for a little bit, and I think that just that little bit of cure time has really really helped because there were some of them that I was like eh, I could have done I should have just let Carla do her thing with it like I should have done less of this more of this but today as I'm sitting and smelling um I'm not feeling that way about most of them the only the only one I still kind of feel that way about is this camping nights one because I think I just put too much bonfire bliss but otherwise I didn't feel that way with any of them I think another one I was feeling that way with was the blueberry swirl coffee I think I felt like I smelled too much of the um, blueberry but today it smelled a lot more balanced and then the other one that I think I was feeling that way with was for the love of dogs I think I was it was a little bit runty to me last time I smelled it but today um, and I think it's that vanilla cake pops is finally starting to cure and come out more it definitely has more of a banana bread smell like a banana nut bread bakery smell than that runty banana smell so I I'm really happy with these even more so than I was last time I smelled them. So really excited to melt these. I'm sure you guys will see them in melting baskets and empties and stuff as I get through them. And so I'll be able to share a little more with you then on how I feel about them. But um, everything I've gotten from K's up until this, I mean, up to now, including now, is amazing. And I would highly recommend her. And I think she has, she has so many different scent oils, so many good scent oils, like, it's not one of those where she has so many and some are hits and some are misses. No, I would say everything is a hit. I, I except that one, that sand and s'mores, I haven't found any that like I can't smell or that are too light. Um, even on first cold sniff, like everything has been really good. So you need to go check out her um, shop if you haven't already. Make yourself some customs. I believe these are $11 for the custom. This is the K-Cuts bag. You can get 8 ounces for I think it's $11 or you can get 16 ounces, which when you do 16 ounces, you just get two of the scents. So you get two 8-ounce bags. Um, her clams, I want to say, are around $4.00. Um, give or take I don't remember exactly mm, yeah so good that was winter wonderland um, and yeah you can't she also does loaves she does these really pretty rosebud loaves I just haven't ordered one yet because I'm trying to find like my perfect custom scent before I do that and I'm gonna have to like melt through some of these to figure out what one is rosebud loaf worthy if that makes sense so I'll be doing that but another custom I got from her that I have melted that was not in this order, it was part of my first order, was espresso and pumpkin snickerdoodle. And oh my goodness, that one, I've almost melted through the entire eight ounce bag. That one is really good. And in my bedroom right now, I'm melting um, lavender marshmallow, butter mints, and vanilla bean noel. And that one is really good. So like I said, um, I've melted some and upon cold sniff of all of them, I highly, highly recommend this vendor and I will be going back for more customs because you just can't have enough of your own sense. And sometimes, listen, sometimes you create a hit. Sometimes you create something that you're like, eh, not so sure. Um, sometimes you create something that you could see perfecting. Like for me, this camping nights is so good, but I could see a way to, to make it even better. And so it's really fun if you're one, if you're like me and you like to blend scents together and you like to see what you can create and you like to do customs, um, I don't think I even mentioned yet that her customs are open all the time. So 
if if that is your thing this is the vendor for you shipping is really fast even with all these customs i think i got it within a week and a half of placing my order so it is a hundred percent worth checking out i can't i i needed to stop talking because i could go on and on about how i recommend this vendor and you've probably heard enough so <laughs> i'm gonna stop there anyways really great haul i'm really excited to get through this i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you next time <laughs> bye